Hinata vs. Rimuru was amazing and they hyped it up with so many trailers, you know, you know, teasing the different forms and Hinata reaching like saint level status, Satorani said, and battling Rimuru and it was great. Shion was also popping off to be honest. I really enjoyed Shion, you know, humiliating the other dudes. But looks like the conflict is over and now it should be the aftermath of what happened during the Melt Slash and Raphael saying if you don't use, you know, Beelzebub to sacrifice, you will die. Listen, I and you both understand that 99.9999999% it is likely that Beelzebub has been sacrificed, but the anime did not confirm it. A lot of people, a lot of sweaty neckbeards are contentioning, just challenging me every fucking time in the anime's video saying, How is that a spoiler, bro? Dude, what do you mean Raphael said that if you don't, you don't sacrifice Beelzebub, he's gonna die? What do you think happened? You fucking retard. You and I both agree that that is most likely what happened. But until the anime literally fucking says, Billsy Bob has been sacrificed. Oh no, Billsy Bob's gone. Then it's not confirmed. That is the entire point of the argument. But so many fucking delusional monkeys aren't even listening to what I am saying. Of course, any retard can watch the anime and think that Billsy Bob was sacrificed. Everyone, me included, thinks that. But it's about the confirmation. It's about the 0.01% outlier of what if something bullshit happened there. All we're left was an ambiguous outcome. A Raphael saying, you should do this. And Rimuru saying, I guess I gotta do it. Activate Beelzebub, big flash of light, and we don't know what happened afterwards. That's the ambiguous part. And you are challenging me every fucking point just because that you want to have your voice be heard and acknowledged and I'll fucking roast you in every single videos. You are being so intellectually dishonest. You're being so ingenuine, so obtuse, intentionally misunderstanding and shifting the goalpost from what I am saying and what you're trying to infer. Go fuck yourself. Let's begin to this episode. Falmuth. <laughs> One of the Falmuth dudes? This ain't the brother, right? No. It's, it's the merchant, right? It's the line, yeah, from Roto family. Wait, 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 what did you say? I guess Demon Lord Rimuru didn't abandon Yom the champion after all. He's right. He is reading the script properly, right? Wait, you want to get rid of Hinata too? Subjugation of the demon who killed Archbishop Rehim. Oh, well, oh, yeah, 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 sorry, 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 sorry. I, I read that as, like, subjugation of Diablo, but that that's kind of like the... Well, that they did blame it on Diablo, right? Didn't they blame this shit? I, I think this, this is supposed to be Diablo interpreter, right? Like, how the fuck are these people actually going to try to subjugate Diablo? This is going to be hilarious. Because, like, this guy's incredibly smart, and he's actually following the plot line incredibly well, under, like, understanding all the schemes that we're doing. But I don't think they can fight, right? Is this where Masayuki comes in? When do I get to see the greatest hero of current right now? The five great elders is obviously Eastern Merchants faction, right? Um, but this is not the Roto family. Or, or is the five great elders Roto family? It is the Roto family? Okay, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wonder what He's right! He's right! I wonder... Primordial! Demon Hunters. Demon Hunters, I'd love to see them. And the new king, obviously, this is gonna be... I, I might not be following this correctly, but is he implying that Yom will most likely become king right now, right? Does he have faith that King, um, the, the, the other family's people will reclaim the throne? Is he, he's not thinking about, um, I, I, Edward is king, but he's not even implying that this is going to be Yom, right? Got it, got it, got it. I thought that he was like implying of when the plan goes through and Rimuru and them, their party, you know, achieves their plans and Yomachi ascends to the throne. But no, 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 no. This, this is like right now. Edumaris' domain. 
Oh, this reminds me of Megiddo. Okay, we got some church people here too. This is so nostalgic. That's from the earlier intro scene. The merchants, yes. <laughs> These are the demon hunters. Ooh, the owl is gonna be sweating. Look at their shields. They all have the mark of the demon hunter, man. Oh, we are cooked. The primordial demons, nah. Get them out of here. Power crap. We got the demon hunters, bro. Yeah, yeah, you're perfect, bro. Making a 2.0 incoming. Oh, God. Poor Gaston, bro. Didn't know the Shota commanded Grigori like this. Also, there's Glenda right here. Glenda with the fucking Glock. How does she have a gun? Who leaked that info? Is it just a... Uh, Sare is second to Hinata? Oh, I didn't know. He was cocky for a good reason during the meeting then. I thought he was a fucking nobody just talking mad shit. <laughs> you can bait him out, yeah? <laughs> there were some CGI moments, but like, usually, yo. yo. Anytime I see like a marching army, I just, I just assume it's gonna be CGI, but they actually fucking drew this shit. Glenda, what you doing? Where'd you get that gun from? <laughs> Damrada, I think, made the right play. I'm not sure. Diablo theme! <laughs> oh. Waga Kimi. Waga Watch out! Oh, Hakuro's around? Torture them lightly. <laughs> 5,000 men? I got it. My boys, Gopta and Gabiru, will take him out. And yes, I kind of missed a little bit from there earlier when, when Diablo literally said he felt terrified, right? He felt terrified not because of, you know, these fucking idiots and the demon hunters. No, he felt terrified that perhaps he could get fired for doing a bad job, right? For you know, like that's the kind of stakes we're at right now. We don't even think of them as hostile enemies. We're just doing our own thing. Like they don't matter, bro. So it's style. I'm sure Rimuru would believe, right? I don't want him to go overboard. I mean, could he not just go there? Just fucking immediately aura boost and then use his merciless? No. Uh, what is his skill? The unique skill that is just like merciless. Um, I think it's like uh, convince, con, con, convince, contempt, con. Tempter! Ah, that's the one, that's the one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then he'll use Tempter and everybody will just like bow down and just offer him. Right? Isn't that like the easiest way? Is AoE fucking just debuff? Y'all already lost your will to live? I'm a tempt you. Oh, hello! <laughs> Where's the demon hunters at? Yo, there's news journalist reporters here? Okay, they're great because now they're gonna write the stories about this and it's gonna go crazy. Okay. Okay, we gave him the option. It's not supposed to be funny, bro. I'ma just have to one second. Listen, listen. Do you guys not understand this part? Like, what part of this don't you understand? Listen, I know that you guys are heavily enjoying my content. But, like, if you spoil things, don't you think that the reaction will then suffer? So, because you are so fucking lonely and got nothing better to do with your life you seek the attention from a random man child watching anime in his empty apartments and even then you're gonna fucking do this shit to ruin the experience for fucking everyone 
Why are you doing this? Guys, guys, just shut the fuck up. Let the anime happen itself. And later we can go back and look at the details. No one gives a fuck of your light novel understanding. No one gives a fuck. All right. Just shut the fuck up or I'm going to actually call every single one of you. Just like what Diablo is about to do. I will literally start banning random motherfuckers in chat. Shameless? Oh, he's gaslighting. Oh, he's fucking gaslighting. Peace is no longer on the table. You gaslighting us, bro, after we were benevolent enough to offer you a way out? Nah, over. You insult Waga U! Waga Kimi! He got the ball. Raheem! That's it? <laughs> you, what, that, that, that's it? <laughs> There's no evidence. Where's Diablo in it? Where's the proof? What the fuck is going on right now? Raheem was crying. Diablo was not in the ball though. What? If the colored haired girl is important, hmm, you know, it just kind of stands out right in the background, you know, cast of NPC news reporters. Hmm. It didn't happen, though. That's a command. Okay. <laughs> because like the implication is there's no way Rahim could have even been like that in the bubble right in the ball because of you know um attempt right Tempta uh, tempter or something right you need to conquer the fear of me to even like be like that so now if Diablo shows everybody that no motherfucker around here can overcome my you know terror then it's fake news <laughs> Glenda and Sade is here too, though, man. Yo! Is this true? It's gotta be true. You just said it, right? I've never once experienced defeat in my entire existence. That is fucking crazy. Never? Never. Did he just get lucky and never fought the likes of Veldora, Gee Crimson, Mao Mirim? I don't know, but holy shit, his resume is fucking perfect. Never lost. Demon Hunter! <laughs> no, the Demon Hunters! <laughs> really? These dudes actually kill Arc Demons? I can't take them seriously because they're designed, right? They just look like the most random garbage, you know, trash group you would pull out. You can't even see their full faces because it's not worth to give them good designs. That's why they're all hooded like this, right? Whenever you have a group of people and they're all covered in armor and like hood, it means that you're not even worth drawing in because you're about to get clapped. <laughs> Yo, where Tanjiro at? Alright, he'll respect the effort at least. <laughs> Lightning without. Okay, without magic heal. <laughs> Subarashi, bro. No, bro. Come on. You know Diablo just fucking taking this. The best part is Edward actually thinks that it's fucking working, bro. This is so goofy, dude. Glenda <laughs> mm. should know better, right? Sorry, too. Ooh. Okay, what is this? I think I remember something like this in like season one, episode 25 or four, right? I think, did I see a claw there or did I see the other hand? So one, the right hand is like, like a gauntlet. Just straight up like a dragon armor gauntlet looking thing. On the, on the left hand, it's just long, long fucking fingers, claws, okay. Yeah, Diablo vs. Shizu, he used that there, right? Natural influences resists everything. Care time.
actual Conqueror's Hockey. <laughs> no one can stand. Everyone's just foaming at their mouth. How oh, Shoku no Haki? <laughs> he uses it too? Oh. Oh. Glenda and Sare. What about Glenda and Sare? Oh, it's beyond just like overwhelming with your sheer willpower. It's like they're terrified. It's like a nightmare happening in their brains right now. <laughs> There's one demon hunter still up. You know what? You know what? Maybe this is really impressive, right? This is the only demon hunter that actually fucking survived the um the terror test, right? I expected Glenda and Sade to be up, right? I uh, they should be, but like I didn't expect one demon hunter, you know, to stay up. All right, all right. <laughs> Demon Lord Presence. Demon Lord Presence. What does that really mean? It's a presence of a Demon Lord. Does that, but that doesn't mean everyone else can use it. This is specific to Diablo, right? Because Diablo is pretty much as strong as a Demon Lord by title, even beyond that. I don't know. Is it specific to Diablo? Like, 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 like I understand the presence part, but the, 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 the Demon Lord part. Can the other, other, like, can Benny use it? Can Benny use it? Only Demon Lord. Diablo is not a... Is he a Demon Lord? I thought he's just a primordial demon and he is as strong as a Demon Lord or even beyond that by title, but he's not a fucking... It's just Lord's Ambition, right? Just Lord's Ambition? Translation error? Okay, we blame this one on Crunchyroll. L Crunchyroll. This is just Lord's Ambition, not Demon Lord Presence. <laughs> Oh, he does straight up say Mao Haki. Yeah, it's just Mao Haki, Demon Lord Haki, willpower. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you just you just answer yourself, right? You're you're saying since a demon's highest evolution is only Arc Demon, they can't reach the level of Demon Lord Factor. But think, bro, you're so close. You're so close. You're saying if it's not Arc Demon, what's beyond Arc Demon? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The demon lord that ascended from being a demon, primordial red into true demon lord. Geek Crimson mentioned. <laughs> he just shit his fucking pants here, bro. He just realized, oh fuck, he's one of the fucking natural colors, dude. Oh lord, he said red, rouge. <laughs> Oh, interesting mechanics here. Wait, wait, wait. So this is specific to demons? Ascending to demon lord? <laughs> right to becoming a demon lord in itself is simple. So this is overall or just for demons? <laughs> yeah. Live more than 2,000 years in master powers to get the demon lord, like the demon lord seeds. But is this specific to demons? Or like, is, is this just like a generic, you know, uh requirement for everybody because we got the demon lord seed from geld and then obviously then we just got the sacrifices but they got to fight every day for 2000 years without losing once that does prove why he's undefeated it's like the ultimate culling it's like ultimate battle royale for 2000 years it's just constant fucking battle royales amongst the demons they all just fucking fight and like after a while 2000 years later one arises demon lord well that just means that Diablo got super lucky and didn't get to meet Guy Crimson during those battles, right? Unless they're like in separate, like different lands. Like imagine like a tournament bracket and Diablo is just placed seated in like a different total side of the bracket. So they could have never met within those 2000 years. But that's very interesting. <laughs> no hard work at all. <laughs> You're sitting on the throne, remember, Visions of Coleus. God damn, okay. So, the eastern side, Blanc is more popular there, huh? Damn, okay. Also, it's funny how we call it no hard work at all. <laughs> Wasn't there the yellow one too? Are you talking about the Lakeshore Dice Scarlet incident? What the fuck? Blanc did this. There's a Lakeshore Dice Scarlet incident. What happened? Did the lake fucking get dyed with scarlet red blood because she decided to kill 10,000 people into the lake and fucking put the blood in it? Like, what is this? <laughs> 
<laughs> I had a 50-50 guess there when I saw the word impossible here. Unbelievable. I thought it'd be Bakanawarati and I, I, I guessed it right. Yeah, cause they're equals! Noir. Noir. I take everything back about the demon hunters. Well, maybe the, fuck the, everyone else. This guy, this guy is great. The amount of glaze he's doing to Diablo right now from the sheer terrification of the understanding what's going on. This is great. He is the hype man of this episode right now. <laughs> Well done. Yeah. <laughs> which, which nuisance is oh the other demon hunters? What a, what a benevolent lord, man. He's like, all right, all right, you didn't you, just a prank. All right, just get out of here. All right, just fucking get out of here. <laughs> the king just slowly being dragged. <laughs> Whoops, I forgot about the king. Yeah, he's still there, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The nuisance is the king. These kind of episodes, it's so fucking good. Now we're getting Sade versus Glenda. Uh, Sade and Glenda, you know, against Diablo. This is the meat of the fucking meal. I just realized something. We're not going to get the confirmation that Billsy Bub was actually sacrificed, even though it's 99% likely that it was sacrificed in this episode. We're going to Diablo shit. So next episode, I'll do the fucking long intro rant again. Run? Me? Cool. Second only to Hinata. Diablo? Just a... Uh, butler, yeah. Just guess, bro. It's obvious at this point. Alright, here we go. Sorry, let's go. Let's see this. Do you not know those names? Wait, 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 what, what do you mean? Why would you be scared when you're only sprouting names like Rouge and Blanc? Did he not listen to the Demon Hunter saying only someone of those equals tiers would ever refer to those like that, right? Does Zare is just being cocky as fuck or does he not understand the implication here right now? <laughs> yeah, why are you saying random names, bro? Ooh, he's got a little cut, a little snick. Yeah, we know he's a primordial. And then he said he's a demon lord, right? So he's just like... Uh, Rouge in how a is he a, 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 is in other steps demon peer. He said demon lord though, right? The translation is demon peer, but what did he actually say? Uh, I, so is is Diablo? He's not true demon lord, right? Like Gee Crimson, he is not true demon lord. We know this, even though he has you know talked about the requirements to you know two thousand years never be beat. Interesting wording, but he is not a true demon lord. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright. You put an A in there. <laughs> ah, he, just keep, he just keeps delivering! The hype man just keeps delivering! Oh, Demon Lord passes out this time! <laughs> this guy's great! Because, like, without people that can actually acknowledge how, like, great Diablo is, the hype doesn't happen because you're just surrounded by a bunch of ignorant idiots. But sometimes you need, like, a sweaty motherfucker. He read the light novels for sure. He watches every Yanny News videos, bro. He is so sweaty and into the tensor lore. He just heard Damon Lord. He's done. Surpass Demon Lord. He wasn't thinking. Why did he give him a name? Because he was like begging, right? On the fucking cliff. He's like, oh, please, please don't abandon me. Please let me serve you. And he's like, oh, fuck. Okay, okay. If name is Diablo. <laughs> Got a gun. Pull the gun out. Why don't try like holy attacks? <laughs> But these are all physical. Damn, that's, oh my god, who scammed you? Who fucking scammed? Who sold you this sword, bro? The sword's called the fucking Demon Slayer. My man is in the wrong fucking anime. Now, if Tanjiro, Nesk, if fucking, you know, Inosuke, them, if they were here, if the Hashiras were here, could they even cut Diablo? I don't really know, man. Demon Slayer. Kimetsu no Yaiba. Glenda Goated, Glenda Goated, she's smart. She's smart. 
probably one of the smartest people here. She immediately understood. Yeah, it's fucking over. I'm done. Bye bye. Gregory got more than one. Sorry, give up, bro. Gregory can't help you. Gabiru. Hakuro. Gregory versus Ronda? Okay. Yo, that's a pretty interesting matchup, huh? Grigori versus Ranga? I never imagined Ranga doing a solo battle. <laughs> He's too mobile. Ranga voice acting is actually having so much fucking fun, bro. <laughs> Dude, this is Ranga Zoomies. This is Ranga Zoomies, bro. He's finally left, you know. He, uh, we unleashed him in a park. He's just running around. He's so happy. <laughs> yeah, Ranga solo that. Does she know that uh, Soe cheated on her with the other church girl last episode, bro? They have a thing, right? Does she know? But they're all done, right? Oh. <laughs> they know way Grigo is being disrespected right now. Oh no, I hear Ranga's voice. I hear Ranga panting and I hear I see Grigo like this. Oh no. What oh no. This is beyond embarrassing at this point. Grigo is literally Ranga's toy, bro. Like this is the difference of power right now. It's another level of humiliation. I would have loved to see Grigori versus Gopten like an epic battle, but you know what? Ranga just playing with them like this after he just dumpsters in the army even better. <laughs> we must treat him. <laughs> he thought it was just playtime. Bad Ranga. Bad dog. <laughs> yeah, just give up. A lot of funny running away scenes today's episode, bro. Like, these are low-key actually funny how just, like, frantic they are. All the night, they're like, we're fucking out of here. No, uh, Grigori, what's up? You there still? I'm sorry, Sade. Your man, Grigori, has turned into a chew toy for Ranga. It's over. Just give up. <laughs> Hey, sorry, let's look at this one. Oh, bro is doing some fucking Onisama fucking Mahoka shit right now. What? You can just dismantle the composition before you activate this. Okay, bro is literally Mahokoing up right now. Yeah. Trash. I feel bad for Sare. This is so unfair. Yeah, you know, you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's actually making sense. Yes! Finally! Holy shit, he's thinking. Luminaries! You're so close. Luminaries! Oh, what about that coincidence? What is that timing as soon as we're about to get to the conclusion of who could have been? Who starts talking, bro? I wonder. Ah, oh, shit. Why is this? Oh, it's always so interesting. Only these three show up all the time, huh? There should be seven of them. But these three are like, they're like best friends. They, I guess they hate the other four or something, man. Flying oh. insects. <laughs> really? <laughs> Burying all evidence. Okay, Diablo, do it. <laughs> oh! Yo, journalist, journalist, are you looking at this? Yo, 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 you better be fucking taking notes right now. And if Diablo saves them, if Diablo saves Sare right now, oh, it's gonna look even way bad, right? Save Sare, prove your innocence. <laughs> oh my, oh, I, I thought it, I, I thought he was trying to kill Sare or something. I, I was wrong, I was wrong. It's a journalist, but. This is the maid, right, of Guy Crimson, right? She was at Waterprigus, right? Blue-haired girl. She's primordial blue, I think, right? That, that's her, right? 
She's still writing notes. She's still writing notes the entire time. No cliffhanger. No. I said no cliffhanger. I said no cliffhanger. And now we just go back to Rimuru and Hinata. All right, we'll get the conclusion here. So okay. So at the very end, that B. Uh, so uh, Melt Slash, Billy Bob Sacrifice. And then the sword, right? Sword beam attacked her. <laughs> Heal her, potion. <laughs> no, she's not okay. Look at the hole. <laughs> hey, are you okay? Ask all the girls in Data Live recently. Actually, they're all fine now. I guess Hinata will be fine too then. Oh, she's trying to heal herself. Potion, potion. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Because the high resistance to magic, and it's a magic potion. The potion is getting resisted right now. Yeah, there's a lot of you know, you know, the cameraman fan service. That, what kind of? We need a potion that's not magic. Oh, it's the girl that got binded by Isoe. Luminaries. The other four. Two people. Man. Today's episode was fucking peak, bro. Today's episode was insane. And it's still not over. The conflict's not over. I straight up thought we were going to do some kind of aftermath and start eating like ramen and gyoza at home and just go to the hot spring and do a little peeking and have a yapping session. But like, bro, it just keeps fucking going. And yes, there's two fucking, you know, there's two cliffhangers, right? One from the other side of the luminaries attacking everybody here. And then, you know, the luminaries showing up at the very end. Still no confirmation that Billy's able to sacrifice, by the way. 99.9. 99% the likelihood that it did get sacrificed, but not confirmed directly by the enemy. Today's episode was fucking sick. I don't even know what my best part was. Diablo just like defeat, not defeating, not even trying and terrorizing people by just immediately existing and having the other demon hunters be like, oh my god, it's that guy? Dude, one of the demon hunters that survived the terror test and was glazing up was actually the like, VIP of the today's episode. This guy was actually so cool and how he just like created the hype by understanding the importance of what it means to refer to someone as noir, sorry, rouge or blanc. Also, blanc apparently did some kind of incident, something scarlet, hello, gear yet on the lake right and she's more familiar on the eastern side ranga just like using grigori as a fucking chew toy he dismantled the troops what was this like five thousand people here right ranga just destroyed them so easily it was just playtime too it was playtime for him sari and glenda glenda kind of fucking funny glenda just running away at the very end actually hilarious because glenda's allegiance is not really with the church necessarily but it seems like she has other ties especially with the Roto family so like I, I guess that's on brand sorry I don't think he's a bad kid he just kind of on the wrong side and now with the luminaries doing this shit it's gonna be even more apparent on who the actual bad people is but ain't no way that the barrier and the journals are all dead because a certain blue haired girl is here that we may have seen in season two at the water brigades just remember that part but overall this is a fucking 10 out of 10 episodes start to finish god damn this shit was fucking peak and next episode it's gonna be even better. Well, maybe not even better, but it's gonna continue the hype. But that's it from me, if you're still here. If you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists with more content. And until next time, take care.